Coaches, do you have a little number of players but you have big needs in practice? Check out this video. I'm going to show you how to make it work. All right, coaches, this is Coach Coldart from 92 Mesh Group. Welcome you back to the channel. Uh, hopefully your seasons are getting started off right and everybody's uh, spinning it to win. I'm really excited about today's topic. I got hit up on Twitter um, by one of our coaches, one of the people in the squadron, asking, you know, how do we practice, you know, with small numbers? And, and I think that's something that becomes a challenge where you have to be really, really creative. And, and so today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that. And what Coach Mummy told me, he discovered when he first put this offense in and compared his Cove Texas, and, and you know his numbers were really, really little. Um, hey, if this is something that you'd like to see more of, and um, it's something you're interested in, man, just subscribe and make sure you hit that little bell down there so you know that when we go live, uh, we're trying to come on about every other day right now, and and it's really, really important. I want you guys to make sure you guys get all the content and stuff like that. Later on in the video, I'm going to put the code back up for the squadron meeting room. The code has changed, but we've got about 240 people in there. And we're going to start putting more stuff on there um, to get a little discourse going in the community. Uh, I just posted some special things up in there for everybody to look at. And, uh, and I want to see if we can start getting guys to share cut-ups and different things like that so we all can... Um, kind of go back and forth on that Google Classroom. So I'll put the code in the video here in a little bit and, and you guys can get that and, and we'll keep it moving. All right, so what we're gonna talk about today is how Coach Mummy um, envisioned being able to practice. And, and when he tells the story, what he talks about is, is he actually used folding chairs. So if you don't have barrels, he used folding chairs. And what he did is he went out and he set up defensive drops. And so right here, what I've done is, is taken kind of a three, four, uh, you know, quarters coverage look and just set the barrels where the guys would drop. Not where they line up, but where they would drop. So these guys would be seven to eight yards back maybe. You know, these guys would be six to seven yards back depending on what your, what your team does. But you just set those barrels up and, and then you go through your routes on air. And so if, if we were running, um, you know, Y cross right here, you know, Y is going to go under Sam, over Mike, and he's going to look into this hole right here. You know, we'll sit in here and we'll get outside. And what you're teaching your guys to do is how to get into the bubbles. And so you, you teach them to sit. If we're running shallow, you know, if we run shallow cross, for instance, why we'll learn to get in here and sit in this vacant space. So it's very, 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 very important to do those kind of things. Uh, same thing if we were running mesh. You know, we'll sit in areas where there's a hole. So you're teaching guys how to find holes in the, uh, in the defense based on the drops. Teach them to find grass. How important is it to find grass? Because remember, we throw the grass, we don't throw the people. If your quarterbacks are having a hard time completing balls and you're, you're getting a lot of incompletions and you're not, you're not understanding what's going on, it's probably because you're talking to them about people and not spots. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. It's about spots, not about people. Um, you know, Coach Mummy you know, says it jokingly, he doesn't really pay attention to defense. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it and I've seen it on Facebook and Twitter and those kind of things and you know people say hey coach we're going against a team that does this and this and this and this what would you do um, what should I carry into the game and I'm thinking you know in the air raid you carry everything into the game because you only have a small playbook and that's that's the idea if you're trying to adjust your offense based on what the defense is doing then, then you're really not understanding the concept of the air raid. Now, what you do is you adjust your personnel. You go two back, you go one back, you go trips, things like that. But, but the base plays stay the same. You know, you might carry one tag this week versus a tag next week. But remember, and, and I got into a conversation with somebody about this the other day. In my opinion, if a tag changes a progression, it's not a tag, it's a concept. Okay? You don't want to change your concepts. If I'm going to run mesh post or mesh dig, and Michigan State ran this last night, if you watch that game, you know, these guys clear out. And the dig, or I mean, a lot of people call this 92 pyramid, was wide open, okay? But just because you put a dig in there doesn't mean 
that it's the first read or second read or third read, okay? You still read however you read the mesh, and, and, and that's really, really important. Um, so setting these barrels up that way, and you can do this in the gym, you can do this outside, obviously. Um, Coach Mungie said this is how they did it in the spring. You know, when they first started putting the offense in, they took some chairs into the gym because they didn't have a lot of guys. And I know, like, here in North Carolina, we used to have a rule that you could only have 10 guys out on a session in, in, in summer. You know, we don't have uh, a true summer ball anymore, you know, like, like a lot of the guys around us. Um, we can only have 10 guys. So doing this would have been perfect for us if we had been an air raid team back then. So, you know, just understand, and, you know, like, it's not like you're doing a 4-3 team or, you know, a guy that runs, you know, something like... Uh, you know, Tampa 2 or something like that. You know, you can, you set the drops up this way. So you can move the barrels around to kind of simulate the coverages that, you, that you're going to see and teach your guys to run the space. Okay. One of the things I like to do sometimes is I'll take a coach or a manager and, and put them on these outside barrels, for instance. And let's say we're running shallow. If this guy is going to come down, I'll have him knock that barrel over. And, and that tells the quarterback, okay, this guy covered him, he moved, so now let's go to him. So, you, so that way you're kind of getting a movement read. So you can do that as well. Um, another way is if you only have, you know, like one quarterback. If you only have, you know, if you have a small number of people, cut it in half. Work half to play over here and then half to play over there. So you have to be creative when your numbers are little. And, and I think that's really, really important. Hey, listen, I hope this kind of helped you. Um, you know, hey, if this video can get, you know, 50 to 75 likes today, we'll double upload. I got another video we'll put on uh, later on today that you guys can watch in between the college games and kind of kind of get your head around some other stuff. Um, hey, listen, here's the code right here um, for the um, for the Google Classroom. Go to classroom.google.com, type this code in, join the squadron meeting room. Let's get some more discourse going. We haven't really messed with that a lot since May or June, but let's get that back going. I think that's gonna be a great place for us. It was a really great place for us to get started. So, you know, use that code right there um, to get in. If you haven't, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, man, please subscribe to the channel. Hit, uh, you know, like the video, subscribe. Click that little button right there so we can get some more people. You know, we're almost up to 1,600 subscribers right now. Really, really important to get, get to grow the community. We've grown the community to places like Brazil, France, Austria, Australia, uh, Germany, um, you know, all over the United States. We got guys in Hawaii, uh, Ohio, Washington State, New York, Florida. Um, you know, we were able to help a young kid get a job in California. Um, through the community and, and I think that's really really cool that we're able to do those kind of things Also, if you go to the webpage 92meshgroup.com check it out. We're starting it up Air Raid Nation 2020 is coming in the spring. We're gonna do a great big air raid uh, clinic uh, Probably will be the first or second week of May right now looking at it. It depends on um when we can get Coach Mummy up, that's the plan. Uh, but, you know, he's going to be doing the XFL thing. If you want to follow Air Raid, he's the offensive coordinator of the new Dallas Renegades XFL team with, uh, with Coach Bob Stoops. But right now we're looking around May 8th, around in there, if we can get that to happen with him based on his schedule. But we're gonna, we want to do it. If you'd like to speak at the clinic or you know somebody who would, go to the web page, go to the Air Raid Nation section. There's a speaker application. Click that button and uh, put, me, put the stuff in, man. And we'd love to have people down and, you know, we'll, we'll put you up in a room or something and, and you guys can talk and, and come and share your air raid knowledge with everybody. Um, the location right now, it'll be somewhere in North Carolina because that's kind of halfway in between everything. Um, either Charlotte, Raleigh, Raleigh, Fayetteville or down in Wilmington. We haven't decided that yet, but we'll work on that a little bit. Um, also, hey, it's the last weekend for the back to school special on the air raid special. Uh, if you know $59.99 for the lifetime membership if you haven't done that yet it's a great deal um, we just added a couple of uh, things to the uh, to the membership area this week uh, a couple of um, strength and conditioning tapes that we got from East Carolina a few years ago which are really really good um, a special clinic from Coach Mummy that, that a lot of people haven't seen that we put on there in the members area and we're, we're constantly adding things to that area every week so every Wednesday we'll add more stuff if you remember um, we'll keep doing the videos and things like that um, really excited thank you again hey hit me up on Twitter at, at coach Cole Tharp if you have any questions or any video ideas and if you'd like to do a video uh, hey let me know and, and share it to me at, at spin it to win uh, the Google Drive and we'll get you on here I'll get it edited up for you and say hey listen we all just want to share content and we all just want to spin it to win